What's going on guys? My name is Gio and as you can see from the title of this video, I just wanted to talk about my experiences with taking the CCNA exam. This video is aimed towards individuals that are looking to take the CCNA exam or receiving their certification um, for Cisco devices. Starting right off the bat, the curriculum for the CCNA as posted in the Cisco website pretty much breaks down uh, with automation and programmability, network access, IP connectivity, IP services, security fundamentals, and network fundamentals. The percentage of which each topic is weighted can be seen in the Cisco website. So take a look at that. If you already have your exam scheduled, um, I highly suggest just study, 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 and I'll definitely talk a little bit more about that in regards to like tips and suggestions to you know set yourself up for success here. But yeah, I scheduled out my exam a month ahead of time. And so uh, that 30 days was pretty much head down, hard nose, just lab and studies. I went to the local test center. Uh, you're pretty much given two hours uh, to complete uh, an exam. I had, I believe, 85 questions given to me. Um, from the consensus, each test taker is given um, different forms of the test, but obviously same curriculum. Um, and I believe some people experience like more test questions than just 85 questions. But I received 85 questions and um, three uh, different labs. And I don't know if I could go in depth of like, I don't even know if I remember like the t test questions. I do, the labs. Um, but in terms of like the specific questions, I couldn't really tell you word for word. Um, but it's pretty much broken down to automation, programmability, network access, IP connectivity, IP services, security fundamentals, and network fundamentals. And you're given a uh, a whiteboard. First, it's a piece of. It's pretty much a whiteboard and. Um, an erasable marker. So from what I hear, other people get like a pencil and paper, two pieces of white paper and a pencil. It, it's all different. Um, I took my exam, uh, it took me about two hours. Um, I had about like five minutes left. I had five minutes left. So uh, if that doesn't tell you anything, you're not immediately given your uh, test scores. Um, I received my my certification on the following Tuesday. So I took it on a Friday and I didn't receive my official um, certification until Tuesday. So there was some time uh, in between and by the grace of everything, I, uh, I was able to pass the, the exam. It's, it's a really good feeling to know that, you know, all the hours that you put in, all the study resources that you consumed and absorbed and implemented and tons of reiterations only confirmed, you know, that through through the official certification. One thing I wish I, I looked more into was subnetting. Subnetting and um, network access and IP connectivity. IP connectivity is probably like 70% of the questions that I received and again this is reflected on the website and so you can definitely take a look at that but I heavily heavily encourage to just spend a lot of time with IP connectivity um, I believe there's there was more than more than 30 questions about IP connectivity you know how how many how many uh, hosts can connect to, to this net mask uh, those type of questions so you're getting questions that are not um, I guess High level, it's very specific questions that you're getting asked. And a lot of people uh, bring up the question, was the CCNA exam easy? Was it hard? Was it difficult? How challenging was it? It can be challenging and it can be easy. It really, really boils down to how much time you put in, uh, how much reiteration, uh, your understanding of these topics have you absorbed advice and tips I wish you know I could go back and, and redo lab lab every day I pretty much reached a point uh, in my routine where every day I would lab like even if it's like even if it's like 20 or 30 minutes of just looking at configurations and understanding why they why they are applied um, that was like I think you know a whole world difference 
from a pass and fail. Um, but if you have like, let's say you're crunching and you have like 20, 30 minutes or like even, even like 15 minutes, again, I don't encourage it, but even if you have like a short amount of time that to, to work with lab, just lab, just turn on, you know, GNS3, uh, packet tracer or whatever environment you're working with. Um, and just look at the configurations, ask yourself why you're implementing these commands, um, and how it affects the rest of the environment. Um, VLANs are huge devices. You're not really asked, you know, the type of devices you're working with. Um, lab, lab all day. Uh, shout out to Jeremy's IT lab, a huge, huge, already structured series and playlists of videos and labs um, to set yourself up. If you're someone taking the exam or if you already scheduled it, you should be in Jeremy's IT lab if you're not already. Um, Network Chuck is huge. Um, I love his content. Um, a lot of it is high level and very specific. What else? Uh, was there any like textbooks that I like read not really i didn't really have any like hardcover a lot of it uh boson was a digital resource that i utilize extremely well i didn't do the la the, the the net sim um the lab sims um i did do the exam sims um there are so many reiterations i probably took um so there you go into boson you're given uh three different types of um, tests. So you got three types. You have a custom one, and then you have a randomized test in Boson. This is uh, it, I'll do make a separate video on it, but it'll pretty much simulate the CTN exam, which is a great resource. So those three things: Network Chuck, Jeremy's IT Lab, and Boson. Boson test uh, test sims. But yeah, lab every day. Um, focus on um, your configurations. Focus on why you're implementing these configurations as opposed to just memorizing again there's a level of memorization you know you you get to a point where you just you know do right <laughs> do right everything that's like pretty much burnt into my brain the why is very important so yeah that's pretty much my experience with the ccna um if you have any questions you any comments or concerns just drop them down i'm i'm happily happily able to you know share more experiences create more videos i'm on linkedin i'm on youtube uh, feel free to connect reach out i'll drop them down in, in the description see you guys next time